Hello everyone, Rob Tui here. In this video, we're going to cover the 5e items effects coding. So there are actually nine modules for the effects coding. Uh, they're available individually on the DMs Guild, but also as a package. Uh, most people just get the package, uh, but some people just want, you know, I just want the potions or I just want the staffs. And and by the way, as many emails as I get, it is staffs, S-T-A-F-F-S. It is not staves or staves. Uh, I, I defy anyone to go to the player's handbook or the dungeon master's guide and try to find the word staves or staves anywhere in there. No, in D&D, &D, it is definitely staffs, S-T-A-F-F-S. So. Uh, we have adventuring gear, we have armor, potions, rings, rods, staffs, wands, weapons, and wondrous items. And uh, we will go ahead and show an example. I'll just use, uh, oh, let's do ring. So it works the same way. If you've seen the other video for just the straight effects codings for the spells, feats, class features, and race traits, these all work the same. Uh, they, are, they are still listed in the spells list even though they are items and of course each one has a uh, uh, a item tag in front of it so that you can easily search for it if you have all those modules open and you have like 2000 effects it's really hard uh, to search but another way you can do it of course is you can come down to the um, source list uh, sorry you can search, uh, what was I trying to say? Why am I not? Oh, oh yeah, no, the group, they're grouped uh, per, per module. Yeah, so uh, adventuring gear, you can just look at that. Or maybe, you know, so we, we said we wanted to look at ring. So let's look at the ring. And let's bring up our uh, fancy dancy guy. We're going to clear off the last effect that, that he had here. Just make it blank so we can see it easier. And we're going to give him, let's call it a ring of protection. That's a pretty common one. So I'm going to bring over the item ring of protection. Now again, it's going to put it in spells. No matter anything you bring from the spell list is going to put it in here. So I'm just going to copy item, remove it out of there, bring it over here, clean it up a little bit, make it items. And then it'll recategorize that into items for you. And you can call it whatever you want for the group. So ring of protection. So you see here, if I apply uh, the ring of protection in the combat tracker, well, actually, he's not in the combat tracker. This guy isn't in there, is he? No, he's not. So let's try that again. So now he's got ring of protection, which will give him one extra to his AC and one to all his saves. Uh, let's, let's do another one. Ring of lightning resistance. So if your DM awarded you a ring of lightning resistance and you found this you could again change the category uh, I like to personally remove the word item after I bring it over to the sheet so it's nice and clean and I can put that ring on uh, so I have a ring on each finger so now I have uh, my ring of protection and my ring of lightning resistance which you see gives you resist against lightning so if I got attacked uh, with lightning damage then I would resist that. So basically every item in the game is uh, categorized and added to these modules. So again, you can you can get them individually, just the adventuring gear, just the armor, just the potions, etc. Or you can get the entire package, uh, which is available on the DMs Guild. And in the, in the link below, uh, the video is where I have the package link. So leave it up to you guys uh, to decide what, what works best for you. But that is how those are used, and again, they're used just the same way as the other coatings are. So now basically, no matter what you have in the game, spells, feats, race traits, classes, or items, everything is coded, uh, and they're all there. So hope everybody enjoys that, and we'll see you in the next video.